a circuit, can contain resistances, in series and in parallel. Such loads, of the circuit, must be solved separately, and the results, must then, be combined. In the illustration there are two resistances in series, and a group of three resistances, in parallel. In this circuit, values of R1, equals 4 ohms, R2, equals 5 ohms, R3, equals 15 ohms, R4, equals 30 ohms, and R5, equals 6 ohms, are assigned. In solving, the current and voltage values, for total resistance, the resistance, of the parallel group, must be calculated. Use values, in the illustration. For example, the total resistance, of the circuit, can be calculated, as follows. In step 1, finding total resistance, in the circuit, RT, which is the total resistance, equals 1, divided 1, divided by 5 ohms, plus 1, divided by 16 ohms, plus 1, divided by 30 ohms. Based on this formula, RT, which is the total resistance, equals 1, divided by 6, divided by 30 ohms, plus 2, divided by 30 ohms, plus 1, divided by 30 ohms. Therefore, RT, equals 30 ohms, divided 9, which equals 3.33 ohms. The group of parallel resistances, are equivalent, to one resistance, with a value, of 3.33 ohms. To find the total, simply add together, R1, RT, and R5. The results, will be as follows. R1, equals 4 ohms, plus RT, equals 3.33 ohms, plus R5, equals 6 ohms, which equals, a total resistance, of 13.33 ohms. For example, then the total current, in the circuit shown, in the illustration, can be determined, as follows. In step 1, finding total amps in circuit, IT, which is the total amperage, equals ZT, which is the total voltage, divided by RT, which is the total resistance. Based on the formula, IT, which is the total amperage, equals 120 volts, divided by 13.33 ohms, which equals 9 amps. Therefore, the total amps, in the circuit, is 9 amps. The voltage drop, across each resistance, can be determined, by applying, the Ohm's law formula, E, which is the voltage, equals I, multiplied by R, which is the resistance. The parallel resistances, must be treated, as a single resistance, in series, with the other two resistances. For example, to find the voltage drop, R1, RTP, and R5, the following formula, can be applied. In step 1, finding voltage drop, of each resistance, E, which is the voltage, equals 9I1, multiplied by 4R1, equals 36V1. ET, which is the total voltage, equals 9IT, multiplied by 3.33 RTP, which equals 29.9 VT. E5, which is the resistance, equals 9IT, multiplied by 6R5, which equals 54V5. Therefore, the total voltage, equals 119.9 VT. The total voltage, in the circuit, is rounded up, to 120 volts. For example, by applying Ohm's law, the current in amps, through R2, R3, and R4, can be calculated, as follows. In step 1, finding amps, ITP, which is the total amperage, equals 1.99 amps, plus 0.99 amps, plus 8.98 amps, which equals 9 amps. Therefore, the total amperage, ITP, in the three parallel, resistor circuit, is 9 amps. For example, by using, the above known values, each value, for voltage, amps, and resistance, can be found, as follows. In step 1, finding total voltage, ET, which is the total voltage, equals IT, which is the total amperage, multiplied by RP, which is the total resistance. Based on this formula, ET, which is the total voltage, equals 9 amps, multiplied by 13.33 ohms, which equals 120 volts. In step 2, finding total amperage, IT, which is the total amperage, equals ET, which is the total voltage, divided by RT, which is the total resistance. Based on this formula, IT, which is the total amperage, equals 120 volts, divided by 13.33 ohms, which equals 9 amps. In step 3, finding total resistance, RT, which is the total resistance, equals ET, which is the total voltage, divided by IT, which is the total amperage. Based on the formula, RT, 
which is the total resistance, equals 120 volts, divided by 9 amps, which equals 13.33 ohms. Therefore, after known values are found, these values, can be substituted, using Ohm's law, to find the unknown values, as shown, in steps 1 through 3. In the illustration, solve a combination, of series and parallel resistances. I2, which is the second amperage, equals ZTP, which is the total voltage, is divided by R2, which is the second resistance, which equals 29.9. ETP, which is 29.9 volts, is divided by 5 ohms, which equals 5.98 amps. I3, which is the third amperage, equals ZTP, which is the total voltage, is divided by R3, which is the third resistance, which equals 29.9. ETP, which is 29.9 volts, is divided by 15 ohms, which equals 1.99 amps. I4, which is the fourth amperage, equals ZTP, which is the total voltage, is divided by R4, which is the fourth resistance, which equals 29.9. ETP, which is 29.9 volts, is divided by 30 ohms, which equals 0.99 amps. Based on the calculated values, 5.98 amps, 1.99 amps, and 0.99 amps, the total amperage is 8.96 amps, which is rounded up, to 9 amps. For example, by using, the above known values, each value for voltage, amps, and resistance, can be found, as follows. In step 1, finding total voltage, ET, which is the total voltage, equal IT, which is the total amperage, multiplied by RP, which is the total resistance. Based on this formula, ET, which is the total voltage, equals 9 amps, multiplied by 13.33 ohms, which equals 120 volts, rounded up. In step 2, finding total amperage, IT, which is the total amperage, equals ET, which is the total voltage, divided by RT, which is the total resistance. Based on this formula, IT, which is the total amperage, equals 120 volts, divided by 13.33 ohms, which equals 9 amps. In step 3, finding total resistance, RT, which is the total resistance, equals ET, which is the total voltage, divided by IT, which is the total amperage. Based on this formula, RT, which is the total resistance, equals 120 volts, divided by 9 amps, which equals 13.33 ohms. Therefore, after known values are found, these values, can be substituted, using Ohm's law, to find, the unknown values, as shown in steps 1 through 3.